Caros amigos do Video Silva Dot Com e da Venus Creations, eu sou o Avelino Teixeira. Esta é uma rubrica chamada Rescalos da Comunidade Portuguesa, através da qual divulgamos os nossos valores. Hoje é um valor que não fala português, mas que é um valor extraordinário que nós viemos a descobrir uh, e que nós queremos divulgá-lo através do nosso programa para toda a comunidade portuguesa espalhada pela América do Norte. Dá pelo nome de Granville Pinto. Pinto é português, mas vamos saber se realmente há uma relação entre este homem e a sua família. Granville, you're welcome. Uh, first of all, Pinto, it sounds like Portuguese. Are you, is there any relation in your family with Portuguese people? Well, Pinto is a Portuguese name. My dad's actually, it's an Indian, my dad was born in India, mm -hmm. and he was, uh, he was born in Goa, actually, and Goa was a Portuguese colony. Mm -hmm. So... Um, This is where the name comes from. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in ancient, not ancient times, but anyway, going back a few generations, <laughs> will hopefully be some Portuguese blood because I mm -hmm. do love Portuguese music and the Portuguese culture. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you look like a Portuguese guy. If I can passport. That's good. <laughs> yes, okay. And yes, you can. <laughs> Listen, um, how long have you been uh, in Canada? All my life. I've been. Okay. I was born in, in Hamilton, actually. Oh, you were born in Hamilton. Yeah. I thought you'd been born in, in Goa. No, my father was, and then he immigrated here, okay. probably in the late 60s, and then, uh, then he raised his family here. I have, mm -hmm. uh, I have two sisters, and we were all mm -hmm. born in, in Canada. In Hamilton. In Hamilton, that's right. Okay, and, and wh where does all this uh, talent comes from? Oh, geez, talent? I don't know. Is it hereditary? <laughs> or? <laughs> I think that maybe, if I could maybe say partially Portuguese influence, maybe, mm -hmm. in the Indian side, but my mother, she was very musical, and she mm -hmm. got us playing when we were very young. Oh, really? Uh, very young, well, me like five years old or so. Uh, she sent you to school? We did, yeah. That's how we all started. She actually started us, uh, us playing piano. Because mm -hmm. my mom played piano. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you perform for the first time? Oh, gee whiz. I probably played for church uh -huh. first. That's how it all started for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how, uh, how did you come about playing for the Portuguese community? I was surprised. I was here last year. And Grenfell Pinto, I said, Pinto? Well, sounds like a Portuguese. But then I found out that you could not speak Portuguese. So how did, you, how did they find you out? Yeah, well, let me tell you how it actually, how I think it may have happened. Okay. First, I started playing, playing for church, let's say. Well, I had my lessons when I was young and then continued my lessons. But when I was performing, I started playing for, for church. And then go from church, you go to weddings. And the wedding scene is when you deal with a lot of different cultures, nationalities, and age groups. Hence, me covering the different nationalities, mm -hmm. including Portuguese, which was a natural, a natural progression mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So I cover some other nationalities as well. Mm -hmm. um, my own being Indian, and which I learned a little later on, but the Portuguese being one as well. And tell mm -hmm. me, what was your first major show in, in Toronto or, or all your life? All my life, major show. I had some fun playing Roy Thompson Hall with, with Pavlo. Mm -hmm. That was a fun scene. And similar scenes would be like Hamilton Place, mm -hmm. then a few television performances mm -hmm. and stage, uh, stage functions and some intimate ones mm -hmm. when it comes to weddings and, and corporate functions, mm -hmm. which, is, which is primarily what I do mm -hmm. and uh, what, I've been known f what I've been known for and mm -hmm. probably how I ended up here. So you're a professional, that's all you do? That's all I do, yes. Play violin and perform and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this takes yeah. a lot of uh, studying and, and uh, to, to learn all this, 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 this music that you play. And it takes studying and it takes love. Love for the instrument. It takes fire, a passion. Creativity. You know, and creative, so, so creative. That's what you could see on, on stage. We could see on stage. Absolutely. You need, I have to be creative with what I do because mm -hmm. I think there's this, this sort of pressure too. People are looking at me and saying, what's he going to do next? Mm -hmm. You know, because people have seen me play mm -hmm. and it's fun you know here too at, at this particular yeah, function yeah. in this place mm -hmm. i have been here last year so i try and think of what can i do because it's the same same old pinto mm -hmm. showing up but what am i going to do as far as you know performing wise right. come up with a new song mm -hmm. maybe a new act mm -hmm. something to keep the audience mm -hmm. interested because you're an amazing musician but above all i guess you're uh, a great entertainer i love to entertain i love to it's just i don't know how it happened It just did. I don't ask too many questions why and how it happened. I love it and I do it. <laughs> do, do you rehearse at home all by yourself or do you have it all up here? 
I have to rehearse. I'm getting a, sure. getting a little older now, so some of it, <laughs> I got to knock the brain a little bit sometimes or take a few before I get up there. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> that part I don't do. Because I have to get up. You need to, yeah, mm-hmm. no, definitely. I know. And it's, what's you your need. favorite music? Oh. I think I think romantic stuff, something romantic where I can really stuff. dig into the string, mm-hmm. and get and get intimate with with, with the instrument, mm-hmm. and uh, really you know draw out emotion. Mm-hmm. Those are my types of songs. Because we see you on stage, then you played uh, classical, you played country, you played pop, even Portuguese popular music. Yeah. You did it all. <laughs> I like everything. I like all types of music. That's just me. Mm-hmm. And whether people like it or not, I think that's a bonus that people do. My audience does. Mm-hmm. And and you know Toronto being such a such a diverse group of people, mm. is a great is a great target market for me. What else can mm. I say? I love all this music. I, I grew up with Michael Jackson, with with Elton John, with with the cultural stuff too. With all my friends, I have a lot of mm. Italian Portuguese friends. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I've been exposed. We're all exposed in, in this community mm-hmm. to uh, to all these different types of music. Mm-hmm. I'm just having fun with it. That's all. How about television shows? <clears throat> been on some morning shows like CP24. Um, the Breakfast Show. What else do we do? Um, I've done some work with Omni Television, Slice mm-hmm. TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a few other like news shows I think that have that have covered. There's a lot of times the camera shows up and I don't know where it's <laughs> where it's going to air mm-hmm. sometimes. But like I said, I'm having fun with the instrument, and if I can share it with as many people and whoever television or or as long as it gets out to the world and I can, the more people, the better. That's all that I can share my love. You played perhaps during uh, more than an hour, I guess. You never got tired. No, it's actually kind of funny. I don't know. I, you know what? I don't feel it while I'm playing. I feel uh-huh. it afterwards. Uh-huh. So I'm feeling it now, mm. you know, a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm How about recordings? I do have recordings. I've released three CDs. My latest was a Christmas CD last year, and information is on my website, gpinto.com. Okay. So... <laughs> yes. One thing that I, I may, um, I'm perhaps I'm curious. You haven't done anything like Indian music because I love it. But have you some? Uh, have you? Uh, do you have some in your rep- repertoire? Or? I do have absolutely. Last year I don't think you played any at all. Maybe people didn't ask for it. And this year again, I was really surprised at, because I know you from Goa. And uh, I said, how come he's not playing any Indian well, stuff? You know, I'll tell you why. The reason here, because I don't know if my audience knows. Hollywood. If they yeah. know. Because the is, Indian music is beautiful. And I have had people ask me. It just doesn't come to my head, but I will play for next show that I do here, definitely. Um, but I do know it, Indian it, music. Tell me, in between the two of us, is it tomorrow? Are you going to be here tomorrow again? Or yes, I am. You mm-hmm. are. <laughs> yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> okay, tell me, uh, when are you, is your f- next uh, recording coming out? I'm hoping within the next year or so. Mm-hmm. I'm working on a bunch of new material, mm-hmm. um, a lot of uh, a lot of it original music. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, it's just a matter of allocating the time because mm-hmm. a lot of my time is spent doing performances like today. Mm-hmm. So that becomes time consuming. So if I when will, yeah. will it be your next performance and where? Next performance is uh, before tomorrow. I'm pl- I'm doing a function for a bank. In the Vaughn area, so I'll be playing for that, a corporate mm-hmm. party, and then I'm coming down down here for you guys <laughs> to have some fun. Greenville, it was a pleasure meeting you and watching you perform. It was mm-hmm. beautiful. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. M- meus amigos, é assim uma conversa com Granville Pinto, um jovem, muito jovem ainda, um grande músico, mas acima de tudo um entertainer, como se diz na gíria. Para Vinas Creations e videosilva.com, em Toronto, Avelino Teixeira.
Thank you.